we're live. We are live. Okay, so we go. We're going to start it. We'll start here. Right. Hi, I'm Susie Cheel. I'm a creative entrepreneur, an artist, intuitive coach, and healer. And I've started the Abundance Show to help people really what I call love yourself into abundance. Because what I discovered was without self-love, I couldn't, I had to learn to heal myself. That was a message I got downloaded um, sitting in a dialysis chair. Susie, when you fully love yourself, you will be healed. But in that time, what happened was my business stopped working. So I had been looking for other ways um, to create income. But what I've also discovered is if we don't love ourselves, we can't live an abundant life. And Christy Ord, uh, who's a friend and my uh, a business mentor for me uh, currently, um, will be sharing today the importance of loving ourselves, really learning to put ourselves first. And as women, that can be really hard. We have to, and one of the things I share um, at the beginning of every Abundance show is what is the card for the day? And I think um, this is my own deck of Oracle cards. This is the card today is let go. And I just thought that was so appropriate because to really move into abundance and to be able to have financial freedom, live the freedom lifestyle, we have to let go. We have to let go of so many things. So I'd like to now introduce Christy. And Christy, can you give people um, a short synopsis of um, how you come to be sitting here today? Hey, Susie, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I love your background and all your colours. Every time I see you, I'm just like, Susie is so funky. Like, you've always got some kind of colour happening. Oh, in your and I just bought myself a funky yeah. new hat today. Oh, I love it. You've got all the bling happening. You're just yes. like, you're just the coolest. You and Des are just the coolest. So I love it. Um, okay, so how I'm sitting here, um, well, you asked me to be on the show, so that's how I'm sitting on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but um, a little bit about my my background is, um, and I'll keep this quite short because it is a very long story. So let's let's condense it. But basically, um, rewind eight years ago. I was I was you know I just finished university. I got a good job in in corporate, thinking that was the way that we were. That's the way that that people go. You know, you go to school, you go to university, you get a good job, and that's it. And you take your four weeks holiday a year. You might get a little pay rise every now and then, and um, you then retire when you're 65. That's just how I thought life happens. And I realized very quickly into that journey that that was not how I wanted life to happen for me. And I was, I started to get very depressed. I was working in this corporate job. I was 22. I was um, starting to use, you know, starting to drink a lot. I was starting to party a lot. I was trying to find any way to have fun outside of work in order to, you know, actually live my life. And I thought that that meant partying at the time. And I started to question, you know, why, why are we told to, you know, go to school, go to university, get a good job and that's it. And I realized that nobody was actually really supporting or encouraging people. Like even when I did my business university degree, no one actually supported people to go and start their own business. Like there was hardly anything around that. It was just all about how you can make money for somebody else and how you can support somebody else's dream. And I remember at work one day, I came across this guy who was an Australian and he was in Hawaii. He was making like $40,000 on the internet plus per month. Um, basically just selling products and services. And then he was like, he'd freed up his time and he was enjoying all these things in Hawaii. And I was like, okay, what is this guy doing? And then I came across um, the work, uh, the, the book, The 4-Hour Workweek um, by Tim Ferriss. And I read that and then I read it again and I read it again. And I was like, oh my God, I found out there was all these nomads, digital nomads living all across the world that were making all this awesome money. And that they'd freed up their time to go and do more of what they love. And I was like, I want to be that person. So I quit my job. I broke up with my partner. I sold all my stuff. I had no savings. I just, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was just like, just went full in the deep end of like, I'm going to figure out who I am and how I can be like these guys. 
And so I went on this quest. I went to every personal development workshop I could go to. I read so many different books. I started to absorb what does it take to actually be a successful person that creates their own dream life. And I started to, you know, really go in and take risks and started to try different businesses. I tried network marketing. I had an eBay store at one point. Um, I did consulting. I had a cafe at one stage and all these things, not because I had the money to start them, but I just kind of figured out a way to actually start them basically with no money. So every venture that I did, you know, I was always just figuring it out. And even if it was an investment, I'd figure out how to do that. And I, I, I had so many different failures. I, had, I have failed so many times over, like I kept failing over and over and over and over. And I learned so much. And I got to this point where I had my cafe and I was working like 18 hours a day. It was a traditional business. I was like chasing my towel all the time to try and pay suppliers, try and pay staff. I could, could barely pay my own rent. So I ended up like putting all of my stuff in my car and basically living out of my car, trying to make this business work. And I got to a point where I had stage four adrenal fatigue. I had a nervous breakdown and I basically couldn't get out of bed. And when I did get out of bed, I would just bore my eyes out. So every time someone would come into my cafe, I would literally, I would literally cry and cry and cry. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like I need to basically go and rest and heal. And that was actually such a pivotal moment in my life because I went home and lived with my parents. And in those, in that time of my life, I started to realize like, Hey, everything that I've created, all these businesses I've created and tried to do that actually weren't in alignment with my highest values and my highest value was freedom. And so that's when I really started to realize I want to create something online. I want to create an online empire where I get to impact thousands of people's lives globally. And I don't want it to be something where I have to be on the phone all the time. And I have to be, you know, I, I, I saw like coaching, for example, and I think coaching is an amazing industry, but I saw so many coaches that actually didn't have freedom. They didn't have time. They didn't have, they didn't have the, the flexible lifestyle because they were constantly on sales calls, right? <laughs> They're constantly on sales calls. They're constantly on coaching calls. And I was like, I, that's not the lifestyle for me either. So I started to get really crystal clear. What is the dream life that I desire? How do I want to be spending my days? And over the last um, two years, we have been doing that every single day. We have literally been living out our dream life that we set for ourselves a couple of years ago. My husband and I and our baby boy, um, we travel the world. We're currently in Ellie Beach in the Whit Sundays, having an amazing family holiday um, we get to impact, impact and inspire thousands of people's lives globally. We don't have to be on calls all the time. We are online entrepreneurs and we get to basically um, work in a way where it's a formula that has been proven to work and convert online. And so that's how I'm sitting here today. And I'm super passionate about supporting people to understand that no matter what your story is, no matter what you're going through, no matter how, um, you know, how much pain you've been in or um, if you've hit rock bottom or anything like that and you're struggling with money or your own belief systems or whatever it might be or your own self-love, um, that you can create anything you desire and that it is totally possible because I feel like I'm just an everyday person that knew that there was more than the everyday. And that's what I'm passionate about supporting people with is to understand that they actually do get to live in the exact way that they desire and they do get to have it all. That is amazing, Christy. It really is. And I think it's interesting that we both have that um, those va that value of freedom. Freedom is just so um, important to me. But one of the things, I mean, I know from hearing your story so many times and things like that, um, what are some of the, how do you think having to really learn to love yourself and and in that I'm meaning, you know, what I'm, I think my heart whisper today was I choose to accept um, who I am fully mm. because if we can't accept who we are, we're not really loving ourselves. We're still looking outside or comparing ourselves. And But to really step into that total self-acceptance there has to be something that my mother always told me I was not to be, which, of course, was selfish. Because to put yourself first um, can seem selfish, but once we do that, once we put ourselves first, we've got so much more to give to other people. What are some of the challenges you found and what are maybe some tools and things that you've... Or what is it that you do now to sort of 
stay grounded and stay um, wholly Christy Ord. So self-love has been such a big journey for me. Um, I, I literally uh, hated myself. I have spent so much of my life um, with low self-worth and these voices in my head of like, you're not good enough. And who are you to do this? And, you know, who do you think you are? And everybody hates you. Like I've literally battled with so much um, hatred around myself. And so I've experienced so many different paths, self like so many different patterns in that area. So for me, what was one of the biggest things that used to happen for me was that I would just be busy all the time. So, you know, even if in every business that I had, I was literally like trying to find a way to work around the clock as much as possible because I was like, well, I have to, you know, I have to save the world and I have to, you know, give back and I have to always do things for, for other people. And so that always meant then um, sacrificing myself and I would never allow myself to, you know, to relax. I would never allow myself just to sit down and read a book. I was always go, 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 go. And that was also because I was distracting myself from actually feeling what there was to feel. And so I've been through this huge journey and, you know, it it still happens every now and then. It's still, I still go through these, you know, even like being in the spotlight sometimes on like the online space or as a leader and, and where I do need to show up for other people. I still have these things sometimes around like, oh my God, everybody hates me or like, you know, this or that. And it's like, I always have to go hang on a second. Like (laughs) that, is that actually truth? Right. Is that actually true? Um, I always have to bring myself back to, you know, it's one of the biggest things that I have learned, especially I would say over the last 12 months specifically was that, you know, I was always, um, I was always at the, I was always putting everything else and everyone else before myself. And I didn't want to be selfish. I didn't want to like, even when I had a baby, I was like, go, 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 go. Like I didn't allow myself to actually give myself any time. Right. And over the last 12 months, I've realized, hey, it it is selfish for me not to put myself first. And I think sometimes people can be like, oh, that person's so selfish and, you know, all this. And it's like, no, like if we don't give to ourselves, if our energy, if our cup is not full, if our energy is depleted, because that was what would happen with me, I would give, 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 give. I would work around the clock and then my energy was depleted. So I couldn't actually give how much I wanted to give, whereas I feel when I am looking after my internal space and actually saying no to things, you know, like, like I used to say yes to everything. Like every time someone would ask me to do something, every time there was something going on, I was always like, yes, 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 yes. And that ended up depleting my energy as well, because naturally I'm actually quite an introverted person. And I, I find that I recharge when I'm on my own. Some people that are extroverted, they naturally recharge when they're around other people. For me, it's actually the opposite. And so I was constantly saying yes, yes, yes to all these things. So over the last 12 months, it's been a huge, huge, huge self-love journey for me. I realized when I went to a retreat last year that some of these things have, were playing out in a big, big way for me. And so that was where I really had to kind of start to conserve more of my energy and go, hey, I actually need to be selfish. I actually do need to put myself first. And if that pisses other people off, then I can't, I can't control how that, that person feels as a result of that. And so for me now, I'm really diligent with what I say yes to, what I say no to, um, making sure that everything that I do is is a full um, fuck yes. Like if if it's not a fuck yes, like I'm about to um, actually say something that I've said yes to, I'm actually about to say no to. And there's a part of me feeling guilty about that. But I know that I have to because it's it's actually about me honouring my soul. And so now in my life, I'm just very diligent with my time, with my energy, making sure that, you know, my health and fitness is on track, making sure that I'm not working, like rolling out of bed and being on Facebook or spending the whole day online, you know, making sure that I can serve hours for certain things rather than being always in a reactive space. You know, if we don't have that self-love and that self-worth, we can get into this reactive space where we're constantly at the reaction of other people. And so for me now, it's like making time to, you know, for massages, making time for making sure that I'm feeling good, making sure that I, I go and see, you know, like I go and see an, an amazing man on the Gold Coast, Steve Katz. Um, he like aligns, aligns just fine, making sure that I find time for that, making sure that I, everything that I do in my calendar, it's, it's about conserving my energy and my vibration first 
and then everything else is second. And that's when I, when I'm so on point with that, that is where I can make the largest impact and difference to other people's lives because my cup is full and then I can actually share an impact from there. That is amazing. And I've watched Christy say, I'm not going to be around. I'm taking a week off or whatever else I'm worked out. And one of the things I think you brought up was, um, there's two things actually, is that thing, learning to say no. Um, why, you know, and, and then feeling guilty, oh, you know, because, and then you realise, no, because you have to say no. And I think the other thing that is really important because this is, um, I've been too free flowing with things and say yes to too many things and just started really looking at my calendar and um, and since also uh, working with um, with Eric and Todd on getting that really aligned, you realise there are things you have to let go if you really want to move, you know, honour yourself. But And if we're not honouring, if you hadn't done all this work, Christy, do you believe um, you would have had this, um, have created um, this amazing business that has empowered, you know, what is it, 3,000 odd people now? Mm. I feel like self-love and self-worth is one of the biggest things that we need to work on. Like if we truly want to make a big impact and a big difference and also receive the type of abundance that we wish to receive in this world so that we truly can have it all, this is the stuff that we, and also the close connections. Like I used to push every close connection that, that came into my life away because I didn't feel that I was worthy of receiving that love. And that one, what I started to realize was that I actually didn't love myself fully. And so, um, that was another reason why I didn't want to say no to people was because I felt like, well, if I'm a yes person, then people will accept me, accept me and people will love me. And so, you know, going through this journey and now being in this space, like sometimes there's this stuff that comes up when I do say no, I'm like, oh, what's that person going to think? Or am I going to let that person down? It's like, no, if we, if, if, pe if, if people are truly always just following their soul, even if they have said yes to something, because there's this thing of keeping your word, right? And there's this thing about integrity, but I truly feel that when we are in tech, like things change, you know, we might say yes to something and commit to something and then we get closer to the time. And actually that thing doesn't light us up. It's not a massive yes. Then we have to honor and be in integrity with ourselves first, because if we say yes and go and do that thing, we're actually going to probably show up in a shitty mood. We're not going to really want to be there. The other person's going to feel it anyway. So there's actually no point. Right. So I truly feel that this journey for me around self-love and, and self-worth and this continual journey, um, it's, it's crucial. It's crucial to, it's crucial for our own self, you know, to get our own self right. And then it's crucial for the impact in the lives that we get to, we get to impact because also when you're a leader and you are seen by the people, if you're already always seen as burnt out, if you're always seen as being the yes person all the time, if you're always seen as like, you know, putting out fires and dramas and, you know, getting involved in every single thing possible, it's not actually good leadership for people to follow. Whereas if you're standing in your power and you've got an amazing life and you have your, um, you know, you're on point with like your time and your energy and what you're saying yes to and you're living a good life and your energy is filled up and you're vibrant, that is where, that's, that's, that's the best type of leadership because then other people get to follow in that suit. If other people follow in a suit of being burnt out and you know not feeling worthy and feeling like they have to hustle all the time and do all this stuff, there's this thing in business around that you have to hustle. I used to operate like that. That was my entire life. That was my entire life. I used to hustle, hustle, hustle. I was like the hustle and grind. <laughs> and now I'm more about like ease and flow. Like every decision I make, like I have so many ideas, but right now it doesn't feel good to execute every idea because it would go against, it would actually potentially sacrifice my energy. So right now I'm like, well, everything that I say yes to, it has to be about ease and flow. And it doesn't mean that that takes away challenge and also growth. It just means that it, it needs to feel like ease and flow for me. It doesn't, it, I cannot operate anymore. My, my body and nervous system literally cannot operate the way it used to, which was hustle, grind, burn, all of that. And you don't need to in, in business. So many people in business think that they have to be the one that's constantly there and doing everything, Right. They don't actually allow themselves to actually be the CEO of a business where they get to be the visionary and then have the right systems and tools and staff and, and team in place and the right um, support system in place in order to do the work for them. 
And so people think that they have to be the one that's doing everything and grinding all the time. It's like, no, that's actually not the truth. So it's, it's imperative. Like it's, it's self-love and self-worth is imperative and we can make the biggest difference. We can be the best leaders. We can make um, the biggest difference when our energetic cup is full. That is, uh, that is just so true, isn't it? It was, I know when um, I joined in working with Christy, I'd been doing that, you know, doing the courses, doing everything, trying to pull all these different systems together. And with what I was shown and what Christy um, has, you know, led us into um, is one of the reasons I'm actually talking to her today because she has, you know, created momentum online, which is what so many of us want to do. You know, there's so many artists and coaches and trainers and things out there who are still struggling and there's I was struggling to do it solo. Mm. Okay, I'm blessed. I've got Des. He can help me. But it wasn't the same as being part of um, a support system and a community. And one of the things that we're leading into is Christy has um, set up for us this amazing challenge that's going to be able to, so we're, I don't know, we can move forward in this online space. So, Christy, would you like to just share a little bit about what we're doing this week that's exciting a lot of to us into I've... really, you know, being a way that we can um, be successful online, but to do it with ease and grace? Yes, I love that. Thanks, Susie. So for myself and Clint, um, my husband, when we truly accelerated um, our abundance in terms of what we were worthy of receiving in our life, because we were always used to being the struggling entrepreneurs that were broke. That was our story. We were always the struggling entrepreneurs that were broke. And when we decided that actually we didn't need to be those people anymore and we get to receive the level of abundance that we desire, there were certain things that we did during that time in order to rapidly accelerate our abundance. And so I truly believe that success comes down to two different areas. One is your internal space. So that is, you know, your ability to understand how to embody the higher version of yourself, the version of yourself that does get to attract and receive everything that you desire, that manifests quickly, that rapidly accelerates their abundance, right? And then number two is that there is the strategy. So you can do all the meditation in the world. You can sit on a rock, you can pray, you can do all these things and hope that things come, right? However, that's not actually going to really get you. I mean, it might get you to a certain point, but if you don't have the right strategy in place, then it's not actually going to allow you to receive the, what you're looking to receive. And then on the other hand, if you have an amazing strategy and you don't understand the internal work of how you can actually become the higher version of yourself, then what's going to happen is you might have the same strategy that everybody else has, but yours won't actually work because of what is going on internally. And so there's these two factors, and this is what we're constantly supporting people to understand is that it's things like vibration, energy, how to manifest like a mofo, how to actually accelerate abundance. What are all these internal processes that can help you to shift quickly so that you can become that person? And then what are the strategies that actually, that actually work in the online space? Because there's a lot of people talking about how to become digital freelance marketers, how to become affiliate marketers, how to do all of these things, but what actually works in the online space so that you can be somebody that people know, like, love and trust, and then become a, a, literally a magnet that people, that you, the way you attract people into whatever offer that you have. And so over these five days, we're going to be delving into what were those internal processes that we did and we continue to do in, ter- in, in order to accelerate our abundance and what's the strategy side of things so that you can understand because the thing is, is we actually built our business with no website, with no large following, with no product or service of our own and we were able to leverage a formula that works. And so I'm going to be basically breaking down value every single day in this group and exercises that you can do in order to accelerate your abundance and start to lock in the higher version of you and lock in what you desire to actually receive into your life and understand how do you actually show up and share your message to the world and have offers on the back end of that that actually people want need and love and so I'm super super excited because it's going to be starting on Wednesday and we'll go through till Sunday 
and we've got so much value that we're going to be sharing. Um, so it really is for anyone who, yeah, who is wanting to understand how to create momentum online, how to actually create an income online, how to understand what type of offers that you can have in the online space, um, and also how to actually internally become the version of you that receives six or seven figures online or whatever it is that you desire. Well, I, and I think that that last point that you made um, is being allowing yourself to receive um, that six figures or seven figures, um, which is what, um, which is my picture of where I am. But I had, you know, and there might be other people out there like me. I started working on personal development, you know. I bought the first Louise Hay book, you know, and I did things in my 20s. I've been amazed at how I've still had to really work on my mindset um, to realise the value that I am. So because I've been working with Christy, I know what's coming. And I think this is, you know, such an amazing opportunity to have five days where, you know, part of it, we're going to be working on our mindset and on our inner game, as well as um, ways that we can show up and, and have fun. I think that's the other thing I'd like to say is, um, you know, if I'm not having fun, I have to ask, is this what I really want to be doing? So I think that's, really important as well definitely You've got to have fun the more fun you have the more money you make i love that one yeah <laughs> i think that's really good and um i just put it i've just got it side by side as we finish here so if anybody um we have christy has set up um a special group that is about creating um online momentum and you'll find uh, well, Des and I are in there as well with Christy and that. And we're going to be, you know, we're inviting you to come in there as well. And you can see whether it's something that you like and you can discover this amazing heart-centered community that I just love. You know, I've met the most amazing men and women from all around the world. It's not just here in Australia. And, you know, we work with these amazing people. So if people would like um, some more information, you know, drop an emoji below or send us a message and we'll add you to the group and be there to support you as you go through these five days as well. Yay. I'm so excited. Oh, I think, I think it's really, really exciting. And um, one of the things Chrissy hasn't mentioned Within this group, um, there's also another friend of mine, um, Alyssa Budgeri, and tomorrow she is going to be featured here on The Abundance oh, Show. So we're going to find out from what I call the mindset expert um, some other ways that, you know, you're going to be able to help tap into abundance but get another sort of um, a little snapshot of what's going to be happening in these five days as well. So watch this space. I'll be announcing that this afternoon. Yay. Thank you so much for having me on, Susie. I'm um, so it's absolutely to delightful, Christy. Is there anything you'd like to say um, as, oh. as we finish? I'm just, I just love your show and this message around self-love, self-worth and abundance and how it's all linked, you know, all of these things are linked. If we, um, if we don't have that level of self-love or self-worth and our, our constant story is around hating ourselves or who do we think we are or nobody's going to listen to me or anything like that, um, we, get to, we get to release that. We get to let that go. And I love that the card today was letting it go, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're actually going to be addressing some of this stuff and how you can actually if you do experience any of that stuff coming up, how you can actually kind of um, <laughs> snap it <laughs> straight away yeah. and, 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 and allow that, that um, thought process to not be there anymore and, uh, and allow yourself to actually, 
for that to not be the thing that's driving you. And so I'm super excited for what we're going to be sharing in this five days. This is literally the exact processes that I have personally used and the other two amazing women entrepreneurs that are running this program with me that have also um, tapped into and utilized in their life and now have online empires. And I'm so excited for anyone who's going to be joining us. It's an, This is an amazing um, show that you put together, Susie. Thank you so much for having me on. And I can't wait to see everyone in the five days. Right. Thank you so much, Christy, for being here. Thank you, everybody who's watched live. Um, sorry, I haven't been on with the comments. I didn't quite get that bit of the text. <laughs> we'll go back comments, and check them. But I will check them afterwards. Remember, um, you know, drop an emoji, send some, me a message. If you would like to um, explore this amazing um, online momentum that we're creating, and uh, remember, everybody, as I always finish the show, to open your heart to love. Remember to love yourself into abundance. Namaste. And I'll see you tomorrow. Amazing.